It's Raf, we understand you have some breaking news coming in just in the last few minutes. Nicole, in just the last few minutes, Russian state media is quoting Vladimir Putin's spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, who is saying that the criminal case against Evgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner mercenary group for armed rebellion, is going to be dropped. And in exchange, Prigozhin is going to agree to go into some kind of exile in Belarus. Now, this is coming from Russian state media. This has not been independently confirmed by NBC News, but this appears to be our first glimpse at the possible terms of the deal that resulted in Prigozhin halting his advance on Moscow, turning his mercenaries around. This same Russian state media report is saying that there will be an amnesty for the Wagner mercenaries who took part in this rebellion, and that those Wagner fighters who refuse to take part will be merged into Russia's defense ministry. Now, Nicole, this would make sense. The president of Belarus, Lukashenko, who's a close ally of Vladimir Putin, said earlier tonight that he was the mediator between the Kremlin and the Wagner mercenary group. He's the one who brokered the deal that led to Wagner calling off its advance on Moscow. So it would seem to make sense that Belarus could be the place where Prigozhin might agree to go into exile. We do not have any confirmation from Prigozhin that he has agreed to this deal. Nicole, we are also seeing on Russian state media reports that Wagner mercenaries are now leaving the southern city of Rostov, which they seized overnight. This is a key city. It's the city where the invasion of Ukraine has been masterminded. It's close to the Russian, the Ukrainian border, rather. But worryingly for Vladimir Putin, those same Russian media reports are also showing crowds of civilians cheering on those Wagner mercenaries. And so the big question hanging over all of this is, assuming that this deal has been made, is it possible, given the bridges that have been burned, the red lines that have been crossed, is it possible for these Wagner mercenaries to return to the field here in Ukraine and continue the fight alongside the Russian military? Remember, Nicole, that President Putin was on TV this morning saying that Prigozhin had stabbed the army in the back, stabbed the Russian people in the back, and Russians who have crossed Putin in much smaller ways then seizing a city and marching on Moscow have not lived to tell the tale. So we will see if this deal holds and if there is really any way back for the Wagner mercenary group and for its leader. Nicole.